See, nowadays, people whose names are not written in the book of life, they say Satan is the most powerful thing ever. That's why we worship Satan, we follow Satan. Jesus is weak compared to Satan. So they are boastful about them worshiping the enemy. The enemy is giving them power. And he is giving them power. But that power he is giving for one reason, to destroy them all at the end, for no one to make it into God's kingdom and take the place of Satan, which he had once upon a time in the very beginning when God created him as the cherubim, the highest rank in the angelic orders. He doesn't want you or any one of us to take his place. He is jealous to the core. He hates us with a passion. Oh yeah, Satan hates us with a passion. If you think for a moment that Satan doesn't exist, you're mistaken. If you think for a moment that Satan does not deceive and twist things and falsifies things, you're mistaken. He's the ugliest thing you could ever come across. He is the more, he despises us all beyond your imagination. When we are outside of the circle of Christ, Satan is very powerful. He can devour anyone before they blink their eyes. He is that powerful. But when you are in the circle of Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, you can crush him and step on him. He'll be weaker than a little mouse and you'll be that roaring lion. But if you leave Jesus Christ, he'll be the roaring lion and we will be that little mouse. So Satan is real. You want to believe it? You don't want to believe it? It's yours. By the way, the club is an invention of Satan. Poker machines, Satan. Drugs, Satan. Alcoholism, Satan. Gambling, Satan. Boys and girls and girls and boys, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Y, Z, Satan. All Satan. Oh, he's very cunning. At the beginning, looks like the Lord wants me to so talk. Listen, please, I beg you. Satan attacks in two ways. He is known to be the snake and he is known to be a lion. These are the two ways he attacks, no more, no less, either in a form of a snake or in a form of a lion. What is a snake? Well, the snake is very sneaky. You do not hear the sound of the snake until you either step on it or you get very close to it when it's within the snake's reach to bite and poison. But beforehand, you don't see, you don't hear, and you think it is all you're doing. So Satan at the beginning, he will come and put a nice thought in your head and he'll make it sound and look that there is nothing wrong with this thought. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely within your rights. You only live once, brother. You need to enjoy life. Come on. What do you say, go to church? You're too young for the church. Church is for the pensioners, 80 plus. This is the place when people go to church. When you get to 80 plus, you are 15, 16, 10, 10, 10, 21, 24, 30, 35, 40, 50. Enjoy life because there is no guarantee you're going to have it tomorrow. While you've got it now, come on, let's go. But Satan will not say that it is his thinking. 
it is his way. He won't reveal it. He's a snake. What will happen? If you become stubborn, loving the Lord, and then rejecting the temptations of Satan, when he sees the nice way of the snake sneaking in is not working with you, he'll come like a roaring lion. He will raise people to go against you and bash you up. So the nice way not work, it's not gonna work, then I'm gonna use the hard way. All of a sudden, the closest person to you becomes your enemy. Ach, ouch. That was ach in the Middle Eastern way. <laughs> ach, brother. Ouch, bro. Is going to say, okay, I'm going to fix you up. You think you love the Lord? I will make you deny him like I did with so many before you. I will raise a tidal wave against you. It's going to come and sweep you right out. The people of your own circle, family members will be your worst nightmare. You'll wake up one morning and you say, G'day to someone, they want to chop your head off. What's wrong? What have I done? Don't talk to me. I don't want to see your face ever again. But I haven't done anything. What happened? Satan. He's coming now like a roaring lion. He will raise people against you for you to give up on Christ. It's too hard, bro. Praying, fasting, going to church, being consistent with it. It's too hard. Man, it's so easy when once I let go and cruise down the highway with the sabufa Habibi in the back seat. Sherbel is having a little nap. <laughs> He's enjoying it. Very interesting topic. So, it's so easy to give up. So hard to stay close to the Lord. It's very easy to sit in a party with songs and dancing and the, and the likes for hours on end and not even feel 10 hours have gone just like that but sitting in the church for one hour and when this good-looking bishop is preaching it's gonna be three hours plus you'll be aching from head to toe you'll be yawning and inside of you will say bishop be quiet I want to go home leave me alone but in the party what a shame 12 hours I didn't even feel it I was just warming up now after 12 hours I was getting into the rhythm what's up get down what -a, what -a, what -a, what -a. what time did you come back home 4 a.m. and it was so sad to leave come to church 9 a.m. in the morning man that's too early I think I'll go to the evening mass. It's for the bludges. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>